And shout out to pizza and the turtles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out to pizza and the turtles, man. <laughs> He's like a, a whack ass <laughs> predator. Like predators keep oh, skulls. Yeah, like yeah. no, I keep nuts. <laughs> 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 you know, I pick Law because he's on Bruce Lee. <laughs> I know, but you gotta pick one. I'll pick Marshall. All right, OG status. Yeah. I got you. Like a chicken Damn, and waffles. My man said, is it legit? He said, it's not legit. Roscoe's. <laughs> like fake. Oh, you been to Roscoe's? No, no, but that's what I was going to say. Yeah, Roscoe's. I went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in uh, LA. Oh, damn, LA. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I went with uh, Zertronic. Damn, Zert. And Pagan Gold. <laughs> Mr. Gold, man. Is he, no, he isn't out there in LA. Oh, he's, uh, he's, he's doing it big, dude. He's like a photographer now, right? Like, photo yeah, be and beyond. And beyond? And be he's He's into all kinds of shit what I don't the know. Hell? that guy's crazy who would have thought man who would have thought pagan's crazy dude he just fucking went out there and went for it right yeah i i like to take credit for the idea really <laughs> maybe he had it maybe he had it like before me but he definitely never talked about it like i told him like about it and like man yeah dude you should just totally because i had been thinking about doing it myself you know really for and it still might happen i don't know if i should say it right here but i mean like, damn like, okay okay but um yeah like but i had been uh thinking of what was going there and the original thing when he was here he was always about music and stuff yeah i remember that so i was like yeah dude like for what we do that place is so much better um so he was like yo dude like two months later he's like i think i'm gonna go but he said i'm gonna go for like a little either bit either a month to three weeks to do something weird with music yeah and then like a month later he's like yeah dude like i'm doing all this other stuff has nothing to do with music <laughs> like, like, and he's like wow. yeah i just ain't coming back wow so i'm hoping to do the same yeah probably damn. it might be as soon as september too dude really yeah man damn we're already in end of july so if so you, you want to do like a more cool video streams or whatever hit you up before that yeah. <laughs> for sure man for sure you'll be the first to know so yeah whenever i do that but yeah man i think i think we're probably gonna probably, probably gonna be one of those ones where it just starts into it yeah yeah no, that's so cool. we, we we fresh we started oh okay cool. so yeah man <laughs> this is the podcast this is this is bush life bush life okay. bush life yeah because i got two podcasts and one is with this guy, and then Boosh Life is anytime I do it without this guy. Oh, okay. So, like, 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 Got you. Okay. Because, yeah, he doesn't live here. So I was like, I, I, I need another one. I another need name, another. another... Yeah. That's so, cool. That's what's up. You are the second person. Oh. The second person who's not from the Bronx to be on this. Not from the Bronx, yeah. Because <laughs> I mean for it, but it was a, I got to say, like the first 30 episodes of both of them combined all bronx <laughs> like all bronx people wow how they that? just they just all they all were always down and everyone else was like yeah i want to do it but would, they would never show they would never <laughs> like, that's like, whack man sorry to so, hear about yeah. that that's all good man no, that's it's, cool we're working. Hey. We're working. honored yeah, honored to be a man. part of it you need first one in person mm. like, oh it was period. like over the yeah because everybody's over new york cali oh yeah bronx or yeah. even like this finally the guy who actually broke the curse on san antonio but he was in. He moved to Austin, so he still did it over the phone. Oh <laughs> like, man, like, come on! Like, and he so just now I'm moved be to cursed. Austin too. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the. You just talked about the the two K curse. That was. Oh the, damn! This is the the podcast curse. Oh so man, we we're just breaking it. So, so I might Bronx. You free the Bronx, dude? Oh, okay, cool. I thought you were gonna say I might go to Austin now or something. Oh maybe I don't know. I don't know. They don't got. Know. They do have the music scene. Yeah, I know. Well, my girl was talking about us moving to New York, but. 
Do it. I don't know if it's going to happen. And my homie actually, he still lives in, he lives in Harlem. I stayed with him last year. He just texted me this article from Rice about tourism and how it murdered New York. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, like, because, like, the soul is gone. You know you know how that is. Like, the yeah, whole gentrification yeah, yeah. argument and all that. So, um, I'll tell you what. I mean, like, that whole thing, you take that as you want to take that. But i tell you, being there last year, like, it's different. It's different. No, yeah, I bet. I bet. It's different. Soho's crazy. Um, nighttime's friendly, depending on, you know, always depending on where yeah, you are. But, whichever, nighttime, like, yeah. but um, yeah, like, it, but I still like it. But I didn't go to my neighborhood. I've That place is crazy. I ain't trying to mess with my neighborhood. Really? I just heard there's gentrification plans for my neighborhood. So it might finally be safe in, like, whenever that's done. Um, wow. But, uh, yo, yeah, no, my neighbor, my friend, the guy who I do the, the other podcast with, yeah, he went back to my neighborhood two months ago. You know what happened to him? He said he got into a fight. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> the people he were hanging out with, it, it's not a drive by because they got out the car, but yeah, they just came, they showed up, they did things, and people threw down. And he's like, see, that's why I never go back to the Bronx. That's crazy, man. <laughs> I didn't even know you from over there. Oh, yeah, man. I, I look, look, I love my childhood, and it was great, and nothing. Uh, for the most part, I don't think nothing too stupid happened. I'm here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there's just too much dumb shit like that goes on that like you're trying to live life, but there's always someone trying to do something stupid that can oh, like, yeah. take it away from you. You know, Even if you don't die, like just take whatever circumstances. All like, your hard work. Yeah, you have no idea like how many people I've heard who when I left 2003, they were like kids. And then... I guess they, you know, people grow up, so, like, they'd be, like, 18. Some of those people have died, lost their eye, gotten shot, stabbed, or went to jail for various drugs. <laughs> either one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You and either fall like, in one of those categories. You yeah, lost your even eye. last week, like, somebody, unfortunately, probably for other reasons, but, yeah, he just hung himself. Oh, man. And it's like, that. yeah, that shit sucks. So that does suck, man. That whole area, there's something about it, like. It's like a negative... <laughs> It's kind of yeah bad juju yeah you just gotta like they told me and everybody every place has this but they told me the cops over there i just found it funny because the word trap now is not for the south but <laughs> my neighborhood specifically called the commons they are like yeah the cops call it the trap there because every time they go there it's just the same people they get you know like damn but um it's a trap but yeah, no, so I try to avoid that place i never go there but everywhere else is, it was cool <laughs> like Manhattan. that's cool Brooklyn is, Brooklyn was cool, but it also felt like Austin. So if you're from uh, Brooklyn, you don't like that. So you know, huh. like, but it literally Word. felt like being in Austin. Like it, it was, it was like, Jay Z can't come from here no more. <laughs> like, like, really? Because yeah, you know, Marcy Projects there. I'm like, I'm sure it is, but the yeah. whole area is just different. They've Damn. been, it's like parks and clean and like, yeah, it's it's nice now, which is good. But I mean, you know, yeah. It's definitely a different vibe to it, for real. That's wild, dude. Yeah. I, I actually didn't even know you were from over there, New York I or swear I mentioned Bronx that or a anything. Lot, but maybe I don't. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I, I, sh maybe I... We're around each other at shows too much, so I'm just not like I'm going to be at a show like New York, New York, New York. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember I met you at the, I think it was Limelight the first time. I took my SP and I sweat all over that joint. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I took like five. I didn't even have a real camera back then. I had like <laughs> Galaxy 3. Yeah, and I still took 500 photos and tagged everybody in it. Remember <laughs> like, that. Like, I remember that, man. That was good. See, that one, I got second place that beat battle. That's that, tight. But I never got that good again. <laughs> like, after that, it was all downhill. <laughs> man, I never got to any of those uh, but, um, places or anything. Right? Yeah, that was know. that was. I don't know if you would say. I guess it wasn't officially maybe my first live, but it was like one of them. Like um definitely maybe for like a nighttime club environment like we do now. Yeah. That was definitely one of my first live. That's what I'm saying. The beat battles were real good for playing li like for getting your feet wet. Yeah, yeah, pretty but much. After you do that, it's like you don't want to play. You first you one you want to show. Yeah. And then two, those things could maybe it's five minutes though that sucks you know. Yeah, <laughs> like, like you have a lot more material you want to show. Yeah. And it's like you got to choose and maybe. I don't know. To me, my personal thing is 
I rock too long on the first or second beats, and I never get to the next one. <laughs> you grooving. Like, yeah, I just keep You're grooving. You're always talking it. about grooving. So, oh, yeah, you man. grooving. You get in it. Yeah, just groove. <laughs> <laughs> just groove, and then, like, yo, hey, yeah, your time. Like, oh, shit. I like, dude, to play I like just five. played beat two. <laughs> like, I want to play five about? more, man. Like, <laughs> that's you got to hit them with the 30, 30 seconds. Like, I know, boom, little snippets, boom, man. Boom, it's just. Boom, boom. The NPC's, like, slow with that, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I know. I never got to play with them for real, real. It's just crazy. But like, and talking to a bunch of other people today about the Red Bull stuff, like mm. a lot of people DJing now too. And I'm like, yo, I never I learned how to real to real DJ. Like I've done yeah. it, but I've done it because other people own the equipment. So I'm doing it, but am I good at it? Hell no, because I don't know how to beat match and all that shit. Yeah, like legitly. Yeah, so I never learned how to DJ. Never learned MPC because I never had one. Got real close. I had, I had my original mixer. I just sold my old Newmark. It's like really? a Newmark classic, like from from the Wayback Machine. Damn. So there's some dude in Florida, super banged up and everything. Oh, really? Uh, I listed it as parts only. Mm -hmm. But like the whole thing was in the 90s, I was going to get decks, but we never could afford a turntable. <laughs> like, so I only Man. had a mixer and I just hooked up CD players to it. There you go. And I would make mixtapes and I would crossfade. That's uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yo, you I can saw, blend I them in and stuff. Shits. I sold them <laughs> like, like, I was a bootlegger in high school. Hey, hey man. <laughs> like, There's nothing wrong with that. But everybody was mad happy. They were like, yo, you this is crazy. Like the one song vibes. goes into another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> you like fade it out, you know, make it like probably wasn't even in time or nothing, but it was just <laughs> like <laughs> like people like a were stutter. just like, ah. yeah. People were just like, This is amazing. Like that's the music doesn't stop. Yeah. I can't do that. So that yeah, they would pay me. And I did it real cheap too. Oh, that's I would get the I would buy the tapes for like I think I would buy ten pack of tapes for like ten dollars. Yeah. And then I would sell like bootlegs for three. So there you go. Still still something, man. That's that's like three hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. long were the tapes though? Like side A and side B? They were nineties, yeah. Damn. Ninety minutes. Right, ninety meant together, right? Forty five yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They were nineties, yeah. That's tight. Yeah, man. Good old days. An official mixtape. Official boosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. An official, like, boosh mixtape. I almost mix failed because I almost failed out of freshman year in high school because of that. Because mm -hmm. I liked it too much. I was, too I was, focused on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It was too. Like, I remember the day I came back, sophomore year, um, people went up. To, like, yo, I, I turned down, like, five, ten people because I was like, dude, nah, dude. I almost, <laughs> I almost got kicked out. Like, damn so i had to retire he's like dude i ain't listen to no music at summer all summer because your price is so cheap like i don't oh. buy from no one else oh man <laughs> you had them itching for another mixtape yeah, dude man. bring it back where's it at who's gonna buy cassettes now? oh man who's people, gonna buy? Still, people still buy cassettes dude no but you gotta look for them people now back then those were the normal people yeah 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 like cds are still there but it was it wasn't as easy to make cds at home so some people were like, man, I want a CD, but they were like, all right, whatever. You know, they were down. Plus, the Walkmans would still skip and stuff. So, <laughs> like, yeah, so dude. they were like, whatever. I still walk, or I still walk, I still rock my Walkman, actually. Of course, because you want that classic. Yo, a lot, there's a, a lot of the indie scene, Austin, too, like, uh, you probably don't know the homie Inflatable Robot. I have it in there. He he made a, he's a synth head. So oh, okay. All that's, analog keyboards. That's bad. Yeah, he he's awesome. He just started using the vocalizer sims too. He's ridiculous. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's a G. I, I actually I did a video of him too. It's a pool party. Really? Yeah, yeah. Damn, a check pool it. party. Yeah, you should check it. It's real good. <laughs> it's just real cool. Just because people are performing for like a pool, it's ridiculous. That's bad, man. That'd be cool. But um, I like to do same that. Same thing. Put out his album on cassette. It's on digital too, but he put it out real on cassette. It looks badass too. He has green casing. Yeah. Everything. Yours, I still got yours too. Damn, the bump. The this. artwork is is ridiculous. That was my cousin, man. Gossip yeah. Inc. Yeah, he did that one. Aaron, yeah, shout out to Aaron on that one. There you go, big up Aaron. Yeah, dude, he's doing tattoos. Oh, he's doing tattoos now. That's I haven't got saying. one from him yet, but uh, mm. Iron Eagle tattoos. That's what's might want to check it out. I'm a punk, man. I got I got nothing. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Like I like them. I like them on girls and all that stuff, but I don't know, man. They cost money. Yeah, they do. They, they 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 hurt they hurt yeah. <laughs> they hurt i'm not gonna lie it's not like they're like oh, yeah <laughs> this tickles this is cool yeah i'm enjoying it no it I, I want it to be like akuma and street fighter like i want to become so badass damn that like 
the, Did the, you get the one evilness just... <laughs> or the aura just comes from my Naturally skin. it just comes yeah. out? <laughs> like, what's that mark? Like, that's just badassness. Damn. That's, that's like super Puerto Rican level two or something. That's fucking nuts. That's like, like, you need those, like, the big, like, jewel that he has, a big fucking... Oh, the beads? Yeah, the beads. There you go. I didn't want to say balls. People be rocking <laughs> those in real life. <laughs> balls. That'd be <laughs> nasty. <laughs> <That'd> be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> just ro- yeah. These are the balls of the victims. Yeah, that like... <laughs> Oh shit! He's like a, a whack ass predator. Like predators keep oh, skulls. Yeah, yeah. Like no, I keep nuts. <laughs> 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 damn, that's fucked up. You said it. I know, like, dude. That's why I was like, damn. I didn't want to say balls, but that's yeah. That's funny, man. That's horrible. No, but, he's in the Tekken <laughs> joint too, right? Tekken. Yo, he's in Tekken Seven. Tekken Seven. Yo, not only is he in Tekken, he's canon. He's part of the Tekken story. Oh shit! Okay, cool. Heihachi's wife hires him as a favor, uh, or something. Because I get it, it's I haven't seen the story. I need to, but it's mad. Yeah, Heihachi's wife hires him to kill Heihachi and Kazuya. But what's hilarious is like Akuma's like, "Yo, man, I'm only doing this because of you." And I'm like, "What kind?" First off, hold up. You got this crazy like murderous intention life. All you do is beat up bosses in video games, but you like. Well, I owe you. And I'm like, what kind of life were you living that you owe this woman <laughs> right, <laughs> like like a what? favor? Who the hell a favor she? of a worth that you need to kill people for. <laughs> Damn, man. I thought Akuma was like fucking emotionless. And <laughs> had no like back in the day that was before 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 the dark chi. You oh, know okay. what I was saying? It was like I remember you got me back in the day when life was hard. You know, when I was training before I got the, gave birth to the dark chi. So I owe you. Damn. But you know who they announced DLC? It was uh, like Geese Howard. He's Howard. He's from King of Fighters. He's like he's oh, their okay. main boss. I'd have to see him again, man. Oh, like Geese, Geese if I see shit. him, I'll probably be like, oh man. I'm gonna look it up real I quick. don't wanna Yo, Geese is I don't ridiculous. wanna get to the end, man, because I can't beat this fucking dude. Geese, Geese was amazing. But uh yeah, like that's like the the trailer for him was was amazing, dude. Like, oh, I remember this dude. Yeah. He, and like all his moves he can do in Tekken. Like it's crazy what? that all of Akuma's moves can be done in Tekken because it's 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing for this dude. And I'm like, that's amazing. That's I, just, <laughs> I just remember that little red little outfit that he had. And I was like, man, fuck this guy. He has the same stage and music t- t- style too. So like the stage opens up with the, the Japanese style. Doors, oh, that's cool. And then you see his stage and it's like, oh man, it's like so classic. That's bad. I'm glad they, you know, incorporated. Yeah, this crossover stuff is amazing, dude. They <sighs> they doing it. they doing it. They doing the Lord's work, dude. Tell I me. suck at it though. I mean, I'm not oh. gonna, I'm not oh. gonna try to like say I'm good. I mean, I'll pick Law because he's all Bruce Lee. Now, but <laughs> nah, oh, it's oh, still um, fucking suck. What's Law? Law the forest or what's the uh, other one? Forest. Uh, forest is law. the sun. Mar- yeah, okay, Marshall or Forest. I pick them both. No, but no I mean, but you the original one was Marshall. I know, but you gotta pick one. I pick Marshall. All right, OG status. Yeah, I got you. Because I remember that I had the original <laughs> uh, Tekken on PlayStation, the big box, not the small one, but the big box. Yeah, yeah, dude. Tekken's real bad at having sequel to characters because they'll have like, yo, we got Forest Law now. What do you play like? Like Marshall? Yeah. Like nothing changed. <laughs> like, like Lee. <laughs> Lee's the same thing too. Yeah, yeah. Is that who? Who? Lee. Oh. No, but see, Lee's like a. I feel like Lee is like. He's a little bit faster though. But he's a cut up of several characters. Like oh, he, he was. And at least when he first started, I don't know what he's like now. Mm-hmm. The gray hair, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the gray like hair, family dude. to like. I feel like he's like some adopted son to like Heihachi or like oh. that whole Mishima. Nonsense. See, I didn't even know the background story. Of but him. I feel like, like yeah, like, I think when he first debuts in Tekken Two, like I don't know what he ends up turning into, but in Tekken Two, I feel like. He has moves from this guy, moves from that guy. Like it was all like a hodgepodge Damn. of stuff. Like a Shang Tsung. Yeah, yeah. Like his he didn't he wasn't like stealing people's powers or yeah, like yeah, copying, yeah. but I just mean like there was just them kind of being lazy. Here's a new character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, all right, let's put like yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> who was that one guy, Hawaiian or something? Hawaiian like, the Korean. Yeah, the Taekwondo yeah, kind of stuff. That was like the favorite was one of the favorite people. But then you see like he had a guy called Bake, B A B A. B A E K. Yeah. And I, I feel like, see, he, same thing. Like, he had some of Harang's moves, but maybe some moves from a few other people. He was a Muay Thai cat or no? I remember just wearing some, like, tight clothes, like some cowboy shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Now I remember him now. But, I remember that dude. Damn, that was what, Tekken 3 or Tekken 2? I don't know if he started in 2, but I feel like he's definitely in 3. Because 3 is, Tekken 2 and 3 were the ones I played heavy, especially 3. And then after that, 
I kind of stopped till like Tekken Tag Two, and then even that I didn't get into. Yeah, <laughs> lately. I t- actually yeah. Tekken Tag One. I think I played a lot. Now I think about it. Tekken Tag. I never like could figure out the whole tagging shit. So oh, that was good. Dude. My guy would die, and then the match would. He's done. a love fighting game. That's I still do, but I got. We gotta keep moving on in life. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, I play when my brother buys them and shit. I think he got like Injustice or something recently. Injustice and Two other. is out. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you got that one. And they make the best story modes of. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's, it's amazing, dude. It's pretty dope. Like, I mean, I'll just I don't even know who to pick, so I'll do random select mm. every time, and I'll end up getting the same guy. Damn, like, dude, son. like uh, that's the universe telling you this is who you should pick. Like a Mortal Kombat, I would hit random select, and I kept getting the the chick who was like a bug every time oh i forgot her name i don't Devorah remember her or something. name but i remember um i think it's devora because i follow this stuff you know like all intense so like mm-hmm. a canadian player like honeybee or something plays him he's real good damn but i don't remember uh her actual name or not but yo yeah we went like sidetracked on the. oh no games. no that's 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 good yeah no, that's but the video game history tell the people out. who are you Oh yeah, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> Javier Nunes. Now, I'm <laughs> now, yeah, I'm just Jacob, man. Just Jacob mm. Benavides, aka Jay Nautic. Mm. Before that, it was what? <laughs> oh, you gonna do all the names? <laughs> yeah. Hednotic. Yeah, it was Hednotic. Jay Zilla. Jay Zilla. Is that it, or is there another I one? I think I was going by Jay Zilla one time, but I didn't really even say anything. J- now, I felt like every beat battle, your name was changing, like shit, back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I would always have a different name when I met you again. Like, yo, man, yeah, no, it's not. Now it's head nodding. Now, <laughs> now it's J nodding. Now it's just like not. Mm. Now it's just ick. <laughs> like, still nodding. You should make a still nodding album. Still nodding. Damn, yeah. still nodding. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> still nodding. Still nodding version. There yeah, man. I'm just an average cat that just likes to play music and vibe out. Mm. Yeah, man. Mm. Chopping records or. I don't know, like how we were talking about, but I don't want to say it again. Like, you know, getting those natural sounds from people when they're not ready. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> catch yeah. that fart. <laughs> yeah, man. The fart Sample kick drum's kick. coming. The yeah, fart the fart kick drum is then coming, man. you can man. sell that. Sample, yeah, you like could. a sample pack or, yeah, no, sample pack. Or, because you don't use the other programs, but sometimes like in Ableton, they'll just sell like as an instrument, which is, it'll just have the samples built in and Damn, stuff. Damn, you can do that? I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, man see i could probably do that if i'm not lazy enough to record all my sounds out and isolate them dude i've sold some drums to uh my homie who does msx sounds i think is what it's called msx mm. he's got double i msx audio they got a whole drum kit of mine but then they sh- like layered it with other sounds so you can't even tell they're mine what we gotta do with you is you can't make another beat the next beat to you to you done <laughs> oh yeah okay yeah to your beat is it's like my homework assignment out. yeah like, like, to the i gotta stop beat. making beats and go back yeah. to the ones that are just still well i mean like stem them out like yeah or, or, you know get them out there like so that you can't delete them no more or whatever and then that's it then they can be put out for real and then I on know, to the man. next one i know man just the tracking out honestly takes forever, dude. At least the way how I do it. That's why, like, if you have it plugged into the computer, I gotta see how you do it, and then like maybe I can offer up a better solution. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna try to show you today, man. Just we couldn't go that route. Um, yeah. But yeah, man, it's the eight outs goes into the interface to the computer. Mm. So it's like eight outs ain't really even eight outs. It's like four. So mm. it's weird to say. So it's like kick, snare, hi hat, bass. Gotcha. And after that, open hi hats, uh, crash, ride bell, sample, and then your next samples, and blah 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 blah. So it takes a long time, man. I get it, man, but that's the game, man. I know that's the game, dude, but <laughs> I don't have time. Trying to make this music, or you trying, trying to make these beats for you? <laughs> you know no, I yeah, mean? I know, dude. That's what, like, even I got hit up earlier. It's like, what beats you got available? It's like, uh, <laughs> <None>. <laughs> I got like a few, man, but I'm not proud of them, so I gotta like go oh, back. See, you gotta get, you gotta get rid of that. Yeah. I gotta get rid of that. You that. don't. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, dude. You don't get to decide what's good. The that's market true. does. That's true, man. So that's why I'm a big fan of just put out everything because the shit you don't like, they might like, and vice versa. Sometimes I like something, people hear it, and they like who you talking about. It's stress. And but then sometimes I show them like, well, this is a beat that. There's always this is beat I have called unwanted. It's like an EDME style beat. Okay. Never like to show it. 
but like if someone's asking me something for like a background video it's always the last thing i give them when they're like you got anything else and yeah this is it and i'm like fuck this song man <laughs> like, like, yeah they yeah. like it they're like oh man yeah, this is what i've been looking cause, for because it sounds like more it's like the, one of the closest things i get to sounding like normal music yeah 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 but i don't like it i hate sounding normal <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah but they normal. do they want it you know <laughs> like, that's true man like one time i went on instagram live and i started playing like the first shit like no one's ever heard it except for like close homies when i made it on the machine yeah. the machine micro actually and it, it's i have an album i forgot what the hell it's called selective head no it's not that one i don't even know what it's i think it's called uh what the fuck is it called i can't even remember i don't it's, know it's some, it's some weird album. shit like that <laughs> yeah. it's like what what the fuck or like what up or something it's called what up yeah okay. it, was, it was an album called what up and it was like 17 tracks or 23 tracks mm. of all instrumentals. They're raw. Bass lines are out of key. Mm. The drums, I didn't even know how to loop the damn beats. So like eight of the tracks or like 12 of the tracks, I would like do the sample live. And then I would do the drums next completely live because I didn't know how to loop. Yeah, yeah. So I would record one whole thing, go back and track the drums on top. Mm. And that was my raw. And I used to... <laughs> Dude, the kicks are like so hot and the snares are so <laughs> hot. Everything's in the red. Like, but that creates a certain sound, whether it's good or not. It does. It's going to break some speakers. That's what it's going to do, man. It's going like, hey, oh, to hurt I some wish, eardrums. I wish I knew what it was called in my head. Um, there's a certain style of music where it's purposely distorted. Like yeah. That? Like, like, oh, man, there was this track in this like viral video where like, but pretty much you're just like you take the bass and you just like put it plus 20 and it's just like <laughs> oh my goodness but like that's the whole genre is like I, I don't even i don't remember what it's called but it, it's just a bunch of music that sounds like that maybe i can label that genre <laughs> as my first album and then. if you hear <laughs> that song like the normal version it doesn't have nowhere near as many plays as the fucked up version <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, how does that work man because that's that was the one that went viral i don't know man like people the internet I tell you man beauty's in the eye of the beholder and with the that's internet true. and singularities and simplicity and like yeah it's people you know for better or worse people are liking what they like you know <laughs> no, i'll let you hear that album man i yeah, don't let man. a lot of people hear it but uh i'm down to hear it dude dude i i that's what i was gonna say like i went live and the time that i went live i i told like the first like i think three people joined i was like yo what's up yeah. I'm not gonna play no live beats. I'm playing shit from my hard drive that I finally got restored because mm. the like plug broke. Another thing that yeah, broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, I started playing it and then I see like Knots. I don't know if you know who Knots is. Like Knots is bad, dude. Knots is a bad, bad mamma jamma dude, mm. sick ass producer. And they, it says he joined. I'm like, fucking Knots, dude. He joined on the damn showing my shitty shit. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like, uh, dude, that's raw. I'm like, no, it's not that good. He's like, no, it sounds good. Yeah. And then I saw, I think, like, Kev Brown joined, some other cats joined. And I was just like, man, the day that I'm not, like, playing <laughs> the really good stuff, like, yeah. I was getting some love for it. But I was like, I'm going to go through this whole it. album. You can't deny the love. I know, man. I, I know. Accept just, the love. It's just like, it's, you know, everybody's their own worst critic. So, like, yeah. I cringe when I hear that album. Like, Ugh. It's fine, but don't let it keep you from putting it out there uh, it out there i think i have no i never put that one out got to i have it. like seven or eight albums that i never put out see so you fucking know, what are you doing they're these just there they're albums. in the hard drive these are these private no what is the point of these private albums i don't know man that, those were like my beginning days i, I wanted to re-release them and like remaster them and everything if i still got like the actual <clears throat> files yeah but if not just put it out as is dude i'm sort of doing that too because i'm moving all my stuff to like spotify and all the real stuff Mm -hmm. but it's been real slow because i'm like well i can probably do this one again but like yeah but because i'm doing that like man i only got like six things so far or five things you know even though like, i check on soundcloud and i got like 42 i'm like oh shit you know like that's like, what's up man i gotta i gotta do this faster <laughs> <laughs> like, like, i might actually put those out man do it you have to dude it. just be like yo it's an old album put it out and that's it it's move on like with the, the world. beginning days like yeah man everything's off key <laughs> everything's loud it. don't worry about it and then i got my ableton albums as well the ableton light albums i was about to say like you use ableton i did at one time oh man yeah i had a <laughs> the mpk 25 that i was using yeah so it was all like keys 
the drums are super stiff <laughs> and uh yeah man Damn, i have like i didn't know i didn't know you had an ableton side that's crazy yeah i did i did and then i went to the sp that's why you didn't freak out at us because you you nah. you've been there and that's why yeah i was just like oh you that's, didn't that's... dj ninja us <laughs> yeah man I remember just that. Too. I, I always rem- he's cool but i always remember he walked out at one show just because we had laptops he played his really? set and he just walked out wow that's yeah. not cool so man. like he's cool as a producer but i'm just like as a person i'm like i always remember that <laughs> like, yeah some people don't yeah like even appreciate it. just it's still music i mean yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter what you use it's how you use it yeah yeah that's what i've always told anybody like they're like man i want to get an mpc i want to get this i'm like get a machine or get like one of the newer joints or something a lot or, of people like that machine man a it's lot of people i've dope. never used it but like i'm already on this push side i'm like i'm kind of done learning like certain things you know i just want to make stuff when i want to make stuff and that's it you know whatever is easier man whatever works for you yeah that's i mean I well it works because it i don't not me spending more money on another item yeah <laughs> like, yeah if it ain't broke don't fix it man yeah yeah but in my case my shit keeps breaking so. <laughs> so you I gotta, gotta put out it. an album called working on it yeah because you just I think play. i got a track called working on it there you go but uh, <laughs> yeah i think it's on the what up album too mm. yeah the thing about that album though man i wasn't like trying to hide the samples at all yeah so there's a marvin gay joint you could totally tell it's marvin gay there's like shit was youtube some shit was like records oh, already it was yeah. copyright flagged Shit probably will get copyrighted real quick but I guess I'll try it. So far, like every set I've play, play, every set I've put out of yours, nothing. Oh yeah, well now, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, like now, I kind of like some of those I try to sets are like two years old already or something, if not. Oh man, dude, there's some. I know you get you filmed like a lot of stuff too. You got some footage. I still oh yeah, wanna, I still got some hidden. One day is this gonna some, be man. some some hidden some hidden Jaynotic ones that because even though I've never put them out because you know I'm trying to do way yeah, too yeah. many things. Yeah, you're doing your own but, thing. But um some of those things man like yeah one day like when you're gonna be like an old man with gray hair and be like yo oh guess what i just put out <laughs> like oh shit <laughs> damn man that was like a jay zilla set right there <laughs> it's gonna get flagged on like youtube 3.0 <laughs> like, like, damn like, it probably will man i'll get like a bill in the mail <laughs> like this guy but um nah, i try not to use anything obvious now here i'm gonna I'm, uh, I'm, uh, ask one real question oh yeah how, yeah how uh how'd you get into this making music game like the beats and everything yeah yeah uh well i probably told you before but i actually i mean it started with the drums mm-hmm. i've been playing drums for i don't even know now maybe like 15 16 years but uh i was always grooving out in my parents pad the garage you know no one cared i was the rooster on the block vibing out and then fast forward from there i got my own apartment started playing my drums in there they called the cops real quick and yeah. like oh you know it's too loud you can't play drums so i was like fuck i was all bummed then i was like i still got to be able to play my drums i went to my homies pad uh albert he goes by shao i don't know if anybody you know actually he introduced me to this whole thing so i'll tell mm. you how that worked too <clears throat> but he had a machine micro and he was making like some some hip-hop stuff and it was tight it was cool I was just intimidated, you know, like, yeah, was like yeah, 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 you know, like play with it. I was like, nah, 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 I don't want to play with it. <laughs> then the next day I went and bought one. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but I really do. Yeah, like, I really want to play with it, dude, but I don't want you to like judge me. So <laughs> at the time I like cared too much what people thought. And uh, I got it, went to my apartment. He ended up going by anyways to set it up for me. So like I had to like show him how to do it. And he showed me how to do it anyways. But then, yeah, dude, I started like making my beats. That's when I made the What Up album and everything. And uh in that apartment off marbach and shit Mm. yeah just raw real raw super raw and then i just i don't know i wasn't really big into hip-hop anyways like really no i wasn't (laughs) i was dude i was like i feel like you repping pretty hard i really i feel like nah man i was like into like the hard feel like you boom bap king yo (laughs) man i mean i love it i love it don't get me wrong when i hear it i didn't know who it was but i always just like love the way how everything sound and me and my boy ryan uh we would play bloody roar <laughs> <laughs> bloody roar dude fuck yeah that's use a bad, that as a sample right it's a bad no sample. i never no, did man didn't. i All probably right. should Wah. that was a bad game though dude we played on the gamecube and he was playing yak balls mm. i don't know if anybody knows who yak balls and weathermen and stuff and yeah he would just play this one track super chill 
and I would always hear the way how it would go. They would freestyle, just be there, not in my head because I couldn't rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would like jump on here and there. But um, I was like, maybe I shouldn't try to rhyme. Maybe I should like try to be the the beats and shit. Yeah, yeah. And then boom, that's how it happened, man. That's what's Machine up, Machine micro days and man, so kept going. What's the what's the goal with the the music now? Oh man, I'm just trying to. If it could blow up, that'd be great. I'm just trying to link up with like artists all over. Yeah. And, like hopefully, you know, play shows overseas or something like that. I know my girl's trying to go to the military, so maybe Oh really? Yeah, she's trying to go to the Navy. Which one? Navy? Navy. Yeah. Damn. So like hopefully everything goes good with that. I mean, been praying for that and she's saying, you know, eventually we'll be like going around places so play everywhere you can play everywhere i go scenes. yeah yeah D go digging probably lose records take records <laughs> take my portable record player and let's do it man so that's what's up dude yeah it's chaotic on the road <laughs> trying man i got asked to go to amsterdam but it's like i can't get out there mm. i can't get out there yet man it's like dough and i just got this other job so it's like I secure that i got you yeah let me let me ask uh I'll hit you with the, some of the realer questions mm. so we don't go over time. That's all good. What is, uh, might tie into what you just said, but what is your goal in life? Oh, man. <laughs> man, that's like so cliche what I'm going to say, but I'm just trying to be the best that I can. Mm. Best that I, you know, try not to fake the funk at all. And Oh, no fake funk. No, hell no. Like, <laughs> just... I mean, if I have the knowledge and someone asks me something like that and whether it's music or not, like I'm going to share it. Like, yeah. I just want to, I don't know, share the love, man. Just try to do the best I can with whatever I'm going with. Uh, I would love to do it musically. If that's not like a possibility, then I don't know. Just try to make a career some other way. I'm in the banking right now, but I'm not trying yeah. to like really. No, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know. I had but, my feet in that world too for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's, I mean, it's kind of still up there. I think the wheels are still turning. It's not completely like stopping just yet. So I'm still young. Mm. Somewhat. That's what's up, dude. Yeah. So the, the future is, future is possibilities. Yeah, man. Just don't ever try to limit yourself because there ain't no limit unless you do to yourself you know or if you're on master p's record label oh yeah no limit yeah so just, uh, <laughs> like, then you're a soldier man yeah. you're part of that army you know you don't want to be that be or like, do you right you say uh, you <laughs> maybe, maybe so man <laughs> working with little bow wow is that his son that's not his son right uh, that's probably not I his think son he had another no yeah because bow wow, i think was like the one who started it and then <laughs> okay. his kid came yeah um I don't remember his kid's name. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. No, but really, I mean, I just want to be happy with my girl. That's what's up. Both of us do our things successfully, and it'd be dope to have a little little man or little girl mm. vibing around because she can- Baby Nautic. Yeah, baby Nautic, man, or like <laughs> little baby girl, man, because, dude, honestly, my girl, I mean, no one knows, but my girl can sing. She's got an opera voice. How come you're not using her? we've talked Fucking about it man up. no yeah, it is no, we talking about no you mean like she need to be singing about it that's what we're, we're, <laughs> we're trying to do man like we want to do some r&b kind of joints and stuff and oh, like man. it hasn't happened just yet but i don't think you were with her back then but man like yeah had, had i had y'all been together back then i probably would be like yo man she's singing now yeah but now i'm like like i said i'm in this weird place with music i'm comfortable so it's just like uh, that's yeah, cool just do you yeah like, just do you dude that that being said like i'm trying to do it all like i'm trying i'm i'm experimenting with rhyming um i heard your little bacon steez oh yeah, yeah yeah that was yeah. tight yeah <laughs> that was tight i was like whoa shit it's gonna be slightly more serious than okay, that but, okay. but you know what i feel like if i did that it'd probably be way more popular oh yeah <laughs> like, people probably eat that one up yeah literally. no pun intended yeah <laughs> um and then yeah even like singing <clears throat> and like the singing i'm probably not even like good but i mean like auto tune and then you know oh you man you don't need no auto tune yeah you do yeah you, nah, do. <laughs> you don't man you could probably do it you just don't think you. Could oh do no it. i think i could do it if i like <clears throat> took some like real lessons then for yeah. sure i could do it on some level but since i just kind of just doing it to do it like um sometimes i hear it and i'm like oh that's kind of ass 
Like every now and then, I'm like, okay, that was cool, but like it's not consistent enough. And then uh, I don't practice down the daily either, cause that's oh, not man. Thing. It's too many things, man. It's well, too many things. I mean, like I, I grew up listening to Kono and like all the oldies and stuff. So like <laughs> I'm a old soul as well too. So mm. I mean, I would sing to like the Commodores and Smokey Robinson and all that stuff. I sing Flamingos. The, I sing the. You talking about metal? I sing the Devin Townsend. That's what I sing to you. Word. <laughs> like, okay. You know who that is? Or? I think so, man. He's most famous band was Strapping Young Lad. Oh, no, I don't. Then, right. Maybe if I hear it. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm bad with names, dude. I'm really bad with names. But if I hear people. it, I got that ear. Right. I might even start following the drums. There you go. Let me, let me hit you a few other life ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. It's all gravy. Who or, or what do you have compassion for? Who or what do I have compassion for? Yeah, yeah. Like just in life itself like I yeah mean, yeah Whatever. really my girl man girl. she's yeah you want that tupac yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, man. All i need it's in just, this life I said. that's all i need man. <laughs> like as long as she's happy i'm happy and i'm just trying to make her the happiest mm. person you know to be with me and, well, what what is the 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 love like because i felt like i never really the way it worked out i just never really had the real relationships like that word, so, so so what is what is that like being in one of those well I mean, there's both sides. It's, it's not easy. It, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's love, but then it's also, you got to work. You got to work to keep it good. Mm. So, I mean, sometimes you might argue, sometimes you might not. You just got to balance everything out, man. That's what I'm learning. Mm. <clears throat> you can't be selfish. Oh, you man. can't be selfish, dude. And that's what I've Damn. done a lot and try not to do that at all anymore like i just want to be there for her when she needs it and be the backbone and you know stuff like that i heard uh so you mentioned selfish this was more for like somebody it was an interview technique he uses it's like a job interview technique but he was like he tries to find out like what people's main goals are so because he's basically trying to find out when you are you're at your most selfish do our goals align mm. so like I don't know if that has anything to do with that's pretty guys. rowdy that's, that's pretty that. deep yeah, that is that is <laughs> that's pretty deep i was like i was like waiting to excel like that movie oh man that's <laughs> throwback that's the way back <laughs> machine playing. yeah no but that that was pretty deep man yeah i just think i mean if you're not really focused on yourself and you're maybe trying to make others happy versus yeah. yourself ultimately just you'll end up being happy man like mm. Just man, like, just enjoy life. Mm. Damn, this breeze feels nice. I know, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I right, hear what are as we'll limit it to three. Three things grateful. What or what are three things you're grateful for in your either your personal life, your career, your or yourself? I uh, will. I'm still gonna go with her. She's oh, yeah, number no one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's number one, man. That's what's I'm up, man. Totally grateful Mary for Mary J. Her. Blyde's up in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a lover boy, but yeah. only for one. But yeah, man, I'm so grateful for her because I met her at the tattoo shop, my boy Ia's cafe okay. shop. She was getting like tattoos every time I went to the shop. I saw her there, but I was like, because I was in the corner playing mm. beats. I was the anti-social dude i get it in the corner just vibing out you know she was getting the ink done i look over and i didn't realize she was checking me out at the same time i was checking mm. her out and then we so stealth when you so stealth that you can't see the other agencies yeah dude you too. dude it was, <laughs> it was just cool man it was just like we we're at the right place the right time i hadn't seen her in forever and then i went and got these tattoos which says do what you love love what you do mm. it's on a little 45 and uh she happened to be there and we just clicked it off again so that's what's up, from that man. day we've been hanging out ever since like that's what's up it really hasn't been any time so the whole military thing is gonna be hard <laughs> no but if you go with her it'll work yeah if i go with her it's just you know the training in the beginning and, yeah yeah, yeah. screwed but you know i mean I'll, like, be, I'll be strong i'll be strong yeah. but yeah she's number one man and then of course uh now my family all the support friends like yourself dude i mean shit, oh. you've always showed mad support thank you so thank it's you. like much love i'm just grateful for people showing love and you know able to receive it the way how it's coming yeah man you were always down to play the shows back when i used to yeah, dude, like to go out <clears throat> into the world and play shows but i i, I don't know I, I just felt like it was just a lot there's a lot more 
without going all into that it was just it's yeah. just a lot of like fighting you have to do to do that stuff that it that shouldn't be there you know nah, <laughs> like, it should just be play music have fun and there's all this other politics that like dude like no one's getting ritz so why do i have to play games you know <laughs> like, like it's just too much yeah. a lot of shit was biased too man honestly yeah. yeah yeah but that's what i'm saying like why am i playing meta games here like because if i win you know what i get not money <laughs> yeah it's <just laughs> like, like, like so, cowabunga yeah, you get like, like a high just, five it's not, it was a lot of effort to just that's why i'm like look man i'm gonna just do stuff like this online yeah it's still fun and like at the very least it builds this brand that may or may not turn into something but at least i think it could it's man. fun and it's tangible it's something tangible like because those live experiences while they were fun for us and the people there but no one else gets to see it you know what i mean yeah so that's why i'm like look, put these things online and then you never know and you're filming it too man yeah but man we trying dude third i would just say the music even though that's like what i do the most mm. that gift from the god yeah, upstairs man. man the big man yeah, giving me man. that gift to like i don't know how to read it but i can hear it and i can like express it that's so. it yeah man you got one aspect of the language there's always many aspects you know yeah but yeah all right, here, here's one. Here's one. Oh, what's up? Who who would you... If you could forgive one person, like, who would you forgive? And also, who would you want... <laughs> who would you want to forgive you? Who would I forgive? Yeah, these questions are all weird because these are like... I do, like, two meditations a day. Yeah, yeah. So these comes from... These are, like... It's a meditation. It's I like do to myself inner self. every day. Yeah. Yeah, because that's how I get in touch with that shit. Man, I can't so even I think of, like... I ask myself this shit every day. It sucks. So <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of who really, like, burned me, you know, like, right now. <laughs> and at the time, like, right now, I can't even think of who it would be. Who I would forgive and who I would... <clears throat> damn dude i don't even know i really can't think of <laughs> for both of them for well who would forgive me yeah or like not who would you but who would you want to forgive you oh uh, like maybe something you did and you're like man fuck. You know? yeah no that would just be my girl whenever damn, i really have, like whenever, you fucked up that much already <laughs> whenever whenever like i do something stupid like without thinking man not like i i, I don't you know go out and mess with other people that's yeah, just yeah, not me yeah. man but uh maybe i'll do something without like the other day, like I, I went and uh, met up with these cats to go link up to do like a, just show them some beats because they bought like three beats. So mm. I'm like, oh, bad, dude. MC Squared, man. It's a mm. Nice group. Big up, big up. Two MC MCs. Squared. MC Squared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I forgot that she left without having her keys and I have the key to the, to the house. I mean, she does too. Yeah. And I locked it and mm. she got out of work and i was way on the other side of town mm. so she got home or she got out and i was over there i was like oh man i locked the door like there's no way to get in yeah so little things like that i mean they're not super big but to yeah. me they kind of like just like hurt like fuck why couldn't i think why of couldn't it? you be better why didn't i think of it or think of her more like in that point? at the time yeah so it's just like little things like that i would say you know for her okay amanda if you're gonna watch this you know, <laughs> i love you a lot just forgive me for my stupid stuff man. it's up to you man it'll be out there it's up to you if you want yeah. her to see <laughs> no yeah i'll show her for sure man i'll let her hear it too but um man i can't think of who i could forgive and stuff because i've always done it just never held grudges mm. i feel like only i've only done that in my later half of life <laughs> like, yeah it took a while that's why i do things like this though. no that's that's good that's a good question um three years from now where do you see yourself the, the life all of it <laughs> like, man life uh <clears throat> where do you or it doesn't even have to be where you see like but maybe what do you want to be what do you want everything to be in three yeah. years yeah i mean i would hope when you know, everything's aligned just right and everyone's happy like I want to be happily married with mm. my girl and just maybe not have a family just yet, but like traveling and doing our own thing, like away from the music. Oh, like I still want to do music. It's always going to be in my heart and stuff. Mm. But like, man, I can just sing to her or something. That would be a good little oh. vibe. But I'm talking about like just traveling, having a good time. The music will always be there. It's like riding a bike, just hop back on and keep pedaling, bring it back up. 
I can air drum anywhere. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Makes it like an air drum anywhere. Hell yeah, man. There's air <laughs> everywhere. You know, you know, replace the skins or Oxygen's anything. Oxygen is top tier. <laughs> yeah, man. And I can always take this with me and just plug in the headphones. Like, there you go. We can just get up and go wherever we want. And that's Mobile a, Nautic. Yeah. yeah the, <laughs> <laughs> the next move, the next name. Oh, yeah. Albums should just be Nautic. Like some Nautic. Nautic. Yeah. <laughs> like a chameleon status. You Especially know, when you do changing. baby Nautic, you better have like a picture of your kid's face. Just like <laughs> Nas. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, dude. That's really funny. Can't be sued or nothing, too, because Nautic and, and Matic, like they're close, but they're like not even the same word at all. Yeah. They just no, sound man. like they just rhyme. The Nautic and yeah. uh, Matic. <laughs> Helmatic. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of flow the same way. Not even the same at all. Nah, that's true. But but yeah, man. Honestly, that's what I see. All right. Okay. Oh, what you got? What you got? What's the... <laughs> Some of these things, because they're made for internal, I'm like, <coughs> still trying to get the best no, way that's to, cool. to make them to, as, as questions. No, they're good. But um, damn, it's like two ways to ask this one. But, that's uh, cool. Well, I guess because I feel like you almost might have answered it with this one, though. So, oh, so I'm okay. afraid of asking it this way. But I'll ask ah, it this no, way. Cool. What is the what is the the perfect day? The perfect day? Yeah. Oh man. Well, of course, like waking up next to her and seeing her smile, or whatever. Maybe I do like a little raspberry just to make her laugh when her stuff. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just the start of the day, you know. Just like get up and go have breakfast. I mean, if we're both off, which we never are. Mm. so like if we both have a day off and just maybe just go out and enjoy fucking anything man take her to a nice restaurant gramaldi's or something oh yo, hit that up the pizza? pizza hit up the pizza yeah man i know i'm burning her out on pizza so i'm sorry yo but, no um, i've never heard of such a thing oh man <laughs> it's on our arms man there you go you see but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah i got the pizza she's got the pizza she don't have the cowbunga but we both got the pizza man shout out to pizza and the turtles yeah yeah shout out to pizza and the turtles man but definitely just getting up just going out having fun not thinking about of course the music and stuff no work no bills just letting go man mm. just enjoying the moment with her I think that's my perfect day. Whether we're like stuck in traffic or something, as long as I'm, man, I'm such like a lover, dude. It's crazy. There ain't nothing wrong. With <clears throat> like as long as I'm with her, I'm happy, man. And and that's, that's what's up. all it is. Like, and then eventually, yeah, when we go back and maybe she's tired, I'll turn on the NPC and start vibing out, like, <laughs> or just like at the end of the night, just maybe having a glass of wine, put on a record, and just vibe with her, man. Chill. That's that's all it is. Like that's what's up just grooving grooving i was gonna say I was yeah gonna... <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my little trademark grooving just groove. in life just groove, yo. Man. grooving in life grooving in life man that should be the other thing like either albums with nautics or grooves yeah groove like always seems groove, to be in that name. groove this groove you know like just just keep adding words in between groove maybe groove one groove two don't even have names yeah <laughs> oh i like groove number 17 Word. i i think i think you alluded to this prior but like where does your strength your strength come from to do the things that you do? Is it like faith or is it like something else or what? It's definitely faith, man. Like I am actually a firm believer, you know. I may not go to church all the time and stuff like that. Mm. But I mean, look, I even this is my girl's like rosary that she gave me to wear. Does it glow in the dark? Yeah, it glows in the dark. Uh, so it looks like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So like at night you'll just see like a floating rosary. <laughs> you know, like, yo, I'm terrified right now. What is Jesus? I don't know whether to run or bow down. Yeah. You know, like, it's like, like, no, it's no one. It's just me. It's just me. Like, I forget it glows and I'm walking in the dark. She's like, what? What is that? I'm like, <laughs> no, it's just me. But yeah, no, it's definitely faith, man. Because every time I go to sleep, like, I pray for everybody. Uh, when I mm. wake up, I, you know, thank God that I woke up. And mm. her as well, man, because she's super strong. So I try to be strong for her family they've always been supportive and they've always been like you know do what you love and try to make it that's what's up man see i um tell anyone even i almost went on some tirade <laughs> like, no yeah but i felt like good. in the beginning for everything <clears throat> that i'm doing now i feel like my family supports me now um which is pretty interesting because i feel like i keep everything in question marks for them now. <laughs> yeah, yeah but yeah. um yeah i mean i feel like had I had that before, my life probably would have been different. But, like, I didn't have Word. the mental power in the beginning mm. to, uh, like, whatever it is that lets you do what you want to do. Like, I think in the beginning, man, when I was first started, I needed support. Really? And I, I, 
probably didn't get it so i think i did things that i didn't want to do yeah until you get so tired of it where you're like you owen hart i don't know if you know the wrestler owen yeah hart. owen hart yeah enough is enough and it's time for a change oh, and then man. you join the nation of domination because you're uh, just so mad because you just <laughs> yeah. I remember that dude and then but the then rock, rock takes over the rock yeah exactly <laughs> 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 i remember that man the blue blazer yeah yeah the final one i remember that but yeah, no, nah, those those are those are all the real questions. No, that's that's what's up, man. What um appreciate that too, because it did put me on the spot to think. Yeah, man. I can give you the list like for real, real, because then like I that's like an internal meditation and like you do that every day, like definitely like puts your mind in some type of an alignment. You know, oh yeah. To be like, okay, your like, chakras. I should be doing stuff, yeah. The second meditation I do is this crazy breathing one. Uh, that I can tell you about another time because I'll I'll talk about it too. Yeah, much. no, that's bad. But, I mean, <laughs> like, I had a friend. Uh, oh, I still have uh, Cameron. He was talking about some rowdy stuff at, at the whole uh, forum thing that we were at. Okay. About a breathing meditational kind of deal. Nice. Yeah, I think y'all would probably click. Just well, what did, did what did he say about it? I forgot. I mean, <laughs> no, no, to, just kidding. <laughs> have to hear it some more, man. But he was talking about it's like an intense kind of workout, but it's all breathing. Yeah, no, I'm always curious about those things because uh, some of these people who do these things. They seem to be doing some crazy stuff. So I'm like, I want to do crazy stuff by breathing, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Sure. So I mean, I'm experimenting with it. Yeah. Um, in the That's short term, that way we don't do a, an infinity episode. In the short no, term. No, it's all good. Where are, uh, what, what are you doing like here? Like you playing any shows upcoming? I don't know if I got any shows. I probably do and I just forgot. It's pretty bad. <laughs> like I need, I need. I need to start the like promo writing. game needs to I, be on. I know, dude. yeah, I know, I know. I need to start like writing down some stuff and <laughs> making some notes and organizing it. But uh, man, I'm still trying to put out that vinyl. Mm. I got a coal busted from LA, but it was on my 3000 because I had all those beats ready to go. It was. Yo, uh, I need you to put out that LP. vinyl, and I want to walk. Uh, <clears throat> what's the What's the LA in San Francisco? Amoeba. I oh yeah, Amoeba. Walk through Amoeba one day and be like. No way. Is that a Jay Nottie? Yeah, dude. I want to see it. And I'm going to send it's you gonna a happen, picture. Man. It's going to happen, man. It's going to happen, dude. It's definitely going to happen, man. Uh, Have you been to those shops yet? No, I've never been. You will die. You will uh, die. I know. <laughs> like, like, I'm not trying to go, man. I'm not <laughs> trying to break the bank at all. I only went to the one in Frisco, but it's like. Nah, I didn't even go when I was it's there. It's huge. You know? And I think there's a distillery in there, too. Or like, really? Yeah. Dispensary. I mean, I'm sorry. I was saying distillery. No, I kind of I mean, like, 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 yeah, yeah. caught what you meant. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spencer, yeah. Yeah. But nah, like, um, I just like, like, I knew I wasn't even going to buy nothing, but it was just like learning about history. And then plus, like, we are where we are now. So, like, they got like Japanese pop records in there and they got K pop. K pop. Yeah. K-pop. Like, K pop is normal now. It's like so weird to me. Yeah. Like, I got Psy, the dude who made Gundam Style, who's not. His song is no longer number one on YouTube. It got passed by some Khalifa song or something. No, oh. of Fast and the Furious. <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah. But um, I think he's number two now. But that's anyway, so I have that dude on VHS, dude. Like, like that's how long ago I was in the K-pop. Like when I was in the Bronx, dude. Damn, <laughs> like, like, that's Roddy, man. Still have him on VHS. So, but um, and now it's crazy. Like now everyone knows whether they like K-pop or not. They know what that that guy is. <laughs> like, wow, that's, that's crazy. That that's like wild. still freaks me out. Like that's crazy how that goes. The world's getting smaller, dude. Internet, man. Power of the internet. Yeah, everything's digital now, man. Trying to get back to that warmness. Yeah, man. That's. I mean, that's what I'm trying. I got you. You got uh, you got anything else you want to say on there? <sighs> Just look out for the future projects, man. I got, like I said, those two cats. It's Smeeze and Q, LQ. Together, they're MC Squared. Mm. We're doing like a little EP. They bought like three or four joints recently, so did that one. They dropped Native Sons, man. Check out that album. Bad, dude. It's on oh, iTunes. Where can you, iTunes? I yeah, saying. iTunes. I think it's on their... Uh, yeah, it's iTunes and Apple Music or something like that. But, well, I mean, yeah, if it's on one, it's on both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah, you go. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if it's on Bandcamp at all. Spotify. I'm telling you, whenever you're ready, dude, I can show you how to do that, too. Yeah, man. I'm going to have to do that, man, so. for these newer joints coming out. Yeah, man. I still got some stuff from New York, that one King Prince dude. I remember. Yeah. I mean, he had a kid, so it kind of like. <laughs> real, real life. Yeah, yeah, real man. life. So, I mean, it's fine. I know it's going to be there. He still has the beats, and I still need to send the rest. But uh, still got the homie from. Uh, Houston Brew, mm. Brew Low Life, the Brew Nautic album coming out. 
Is that what it's called? Brunatic. Yeah. Yes. You see, you already there. I ain't even to tell you that. Brunatic. Yeah, like, Brunatic, like, man. Like, like, like. Dude, that, that one's going to be nuts, man. And I'm sorry, bro. You know, if you get to see this, dude, I'm sorry for the stall. When I get that 3,000, we're hitting it hard, man. <laughs> for real, man. Um, probably just me and Ias doing our own little tape. We still, I was going to do side B because I'm Benavides and he's A for Aragon. Okay. So, yeah, we have a. Uh, Isn't the real name? Yeah. You're missing a nautic opportunity right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nautic op- Yeah, no. I mean, it's still going to be Jay Nautic and Mr. E is like together bomb shelter crew. So, okay. Yeah, it's our bomb shelter beat tape yeah, man. that we've been sleeping on forever. But, oh, yeah, get these out there. And don't just put them out analog, man. Get that on, on the Yeah, digital no, digital world too. too. Yeah. Digital, yeah. As well as limited tape. I still got the tapes. They're just not even. They're just in the box that I got shipped and everything. Like, it's just a. A blue you tape, taking it a to skeleton that, uh, tape. What's that store? We got Hogwild or any one of them? Yep. See if they do they carry it? Yeah, they could do it. They could do it over there. Oh, Hogwild, yeah. um, they'll do it at Flipside probably. Or yeah, even uh, Friends of Sound because they're homies. Yeah, Friends of Sound, that's right. Friends of Sound, man, they're homies. Yeah. I, I, I did uh, did a video of Mendoza a long time ago. Over there? Yeah. No, no. Before he even owned that. Oh, really? Uh, it's just been in that bottom bracket, but I think it's muted now on YouTube. Cause, oh, Because they're DJs, you know? Yeah. So, so like, like, I'm still getting, I got an email literally two days ago, and I'm like, dude, it's been two years. Like, why am I like, why is this still getting flagged? That's George, right? Yeah. Yeah, homie George. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Fucking George. Yeah, he's cool. Him and uh, Danny, Rambo. they used to spin, um, no, no, I ran, but he's cool too, but um. My friend, he just moved. DJ Pulp was his DJ name. Oh, okay. But he just moved to Austin. But they used to do like Rhino things. Hey, they actually still spin together now. And George just drives to Austin on the weekend because he used to live there. You know. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, they do a shared gig on the weekends. That's what's up, man. But dude, if you do another show, man, let me know. I'm down know. to do it. Or if you put one together, I was maybe thinking not even about play doing one before I leave, just because why not? Yeah, you should. But, hey, For you, good times, it's hard. Like organizing all those boost kids dude nah man you know just, uh, <laughs> like, we could do it at friends of sound because they're so cool they've always wanted me to like get a show going over there i don't know maybe man like if they really want to do it it'd be down like uh, my my group would be the one that messes it up though because we got like 800 people but i mean no we i think a, they, we got a drummer now i don't know if you saw us i think with they the would enjoy it man no i, had, I never saw it with the have, drummer we have a drummer now that's ridiculous dude <laughs> like, that like, makes it even more difficult yeah yeah that's all i was saying yeah that makes it completely more difficult yeah <laughs> being a drummer i fucking know he can bring the cajon though he he he, he, he does Damn, a bunch of other percussion like for us he just did drum kit but his honestly he's better at alternative percussion really so, like for a, a, a weird gig like in store it could be like yo just bring everything that's not uh, your like kid, a little you hand know? symbol yeah. <laughs> yeah just do all that <laughs> yeah he things. can literally probably do that and be fine that's bad yeah man it's funny like when i first played my one of my first lives there's like a group of my first lives because like um yeah like my first 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 one was probably a pool party but damn but i did uh what's the the damn bookstore record shop here um, um imagine imagine yeah really i imagine never even... re- imagine bookstore or imagine record it's imagine what but either way they sell both damn i but don't even know about it's that because it's, it's on this side of town so if you're not but honestly they're i'm surprised you don't know because now they've kind of blown up so now they're kind of a popular venue for bands to play damn but when i played they were not popular at all <laughs> but damn. but um i don't even know i played that was like one of my first in stores and I was so nervous to play like you know like in the beginning so oh like, yeah i didn't want to do it like alone so i had a guitar player yep. and a trumpet the same trumpet you know that was yeah cool. and then um i think it's cool at the very last minute i got uh the same guy who does drums for me now but like him and he did it on cajon and all of us sucked back then it was like really lame and t- <laughs> but um just it's go funny like it. i think yeah, what started off as me being afraid to play alone turned into like, I know we just this group of shit going on. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, that's tight though, man. I've always dug it. I've always thought it was cool. That's why like I was happy yeah, y'all did the fun. tape release. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The mixtape. Uh, that uh, I forgot that spot. Uh, the ritual gallery or something. Yeah, oh, y'all played there too, man. The when I did um uh, my my fucking bump, I think it was no, it was uh I did play at the was that one the the. Damn it, what is that venue that you were saying though? The rituals. That's next to four ten and stuff. I did play there once. That was one of our that's when we first started. Damn. 
but no we we did yeah we did one of your releases too but mm -hmm. it wasn't bottom bracket though no no it was at it was that ritual art gallery or something oh, like okay that. it was it used to be a cafe revolution or something it was right there I haven't I, heard those words man, in a long time. I forgot. Time. Okay, now I remember. Yo, I streamed that. Yeah, that we shit streamed. Is still, yeah, it's we not streamed on it. the real. You know what? It's still in crap. Oh yo, that was my first time gorilla streaming. Oh, really? I used it as a test to see if is this even possible. That was the Art of Letting Go. <laughs> the Art of Letting Go EP release show. So I still have that. The only thing I was angry about was like they don't have a bathroom. I was like, come on. Now you. you, you yeah, come like, on, come on. You bullshit. got these this females up in here too. Like, how are they going to go? Pop like, everything else was fine. But, um, damn that was that was a fun show but that super one hot though it was yeah man i i have that i haven't cut it up like oh that's all good it's dude. all on youtube there so like all the extra crap <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, it's so all there. stuff that's not even me or you <laughs> like before and after but in the middle is there but one of these days i'm gonna cut it up and that's what's up and they would at least be there yeah man because that's like another show for both of us yeah I yours because i was tired like yours is uh, i think the camera is mostly on yeah it's that. on the npc i remember i was that. like look man i'm sweating now it's super hot I'm, i remember I can't, you said that I can't, too i can't be doing that i was sweating too all over my npc just like the first show i've ever played it was just like man it's so hot plus i use my real camera and that real camera is is godlike but that's why i'm not using it now like mm. i only have one lens so if, if if it's not at the right angle, it's like it's real bad for being close, and this can do close. That's tight, but man. Yeah, I wish like, I still had mine. <laughs> oh <So, laughs> my bad. <laughs> no, it's all good. Hope these sad memories. Nah, man, I, I'll get another camera soon. I'm just, I mean, it, mine still works. My Q8 yeah. is just when it fell, the fold out that you can see, yeah, that broke and like uh, it snapped off, and then I put it back in but I'm telling you yo you got this it's still i know dude good. i got this yeah I, know. I even got a stand for it now and everything you can you can live stream the twits off of these now really yeah so i haven't you, really you used start, twitch as much but you could try doing it on there see if you build a following because you build a following on there people will donate they never really? donated to me but i mean like damn but they donate to people though it is possible yeah so. you have like a little mini tripod or something um yeah so what i what i bought I never thought I'd buy one of these in my life, but I have a selfie stick. A selfie stick. I, I knew you were going to say that. I was like, it's not a and, selfie and stick. And it's still kind and it does the little mini thing. Okay, on cool. On the bottom of it. That way it can double. Because I'm trying to just walk around the world streaming. Yeah, Because sometimes course. people like that, you know? And everybody thinks you're taking selfies. Yeah, they do, but whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Because look, man, if I ever get a little following, like it's over. Yeah, it's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, then people will pay me to walk around. I'm like, there you go. Life no, is great. <laughs> like, like, like. I almost bought one of those too, but I, I got like a little tripod, octopus-looking thing. Mm. But it's all like loose. Those now are really stuff. cool. Like, like when when they work, they're actually really cool. Yeah. Those those are because then you can adapt it to wherever you are. Yeah, it, it like wraps and stuff too. But if it's too heavy on the top, then i got you but yeah so yeah you got you got any any of the last words cowbunga all right i probably should have asked that last but you <laughs> you um um tell them where they can find you oh yeah uh the most recent if you want to see like ideas all the time is instagram if you got social media what is it J Nautic now just jk do you know yes do i need to look it up for you because nah, you, you seem yeah questionable. i was thinking about if it's still the jb zilla <laughs> It's not the JB Zilla anymore. Yeah, it's the J Nodic, J K N O D I C. <laughs> okay, so these are facts. I, yeah, I just confirmed it. And then the SoundCloud, <laughs> the SoundCloud.com forward slash J Nodic, J K N O D I C. Two one. Oh, my man is big time too, man. Up in San Antonio. And he then if gets... you want to hear some old albums, singles as well, like I'm, my SoundCloud is kind of messing up, so I'm putting some more stuff up on Bandcamp. So that's the what Bandcamp. SoundCloud is kind of ass. I mean, I mean that yeah. in the nicest way possible. It's just not. You just don't take it serious, dude. You know nah, I mean? man. It's just like they're always like trying to like get me to to pay some junk, and it doesn't go through. So now what they are like, about, dude. <laughs> yeah, because I, I had like the pro subscription or something. Why like did that? you have pro? I don't you know. You never upload it on there. <laughs> like, I, I started uploading a lot, man. Like private stuff that yeah private stuff <laughs> like, so i can hear it <laughs> so, yeah because they're they're for projects for artists that are not released yeah yet. yeah yeah so i just wanted to see like the wave and how it looked and so i could bump it in the ride and you know so what man if you had a, i got private joints on there but now a DAW, don't want me. you can see the wave on your daw <laughs> not reason man because i got reason what reason remember? are you on I, I think we said it was six 
Dude, you get the new reason, dog. Come on. It's too much. It's, it's normal now. Like, but it's too much, though. They man. just added, even though this is not a breakthrough, this is a breakthrough for a reason. Now you can use everything, right? VSTs, Plugins. Man. Yeah, I know. It's free dude. now. I mean, like, I mean, they're free now. Cool. Like, they're they're free. It's not actually free. Like, I, like, I have all the plugins, too. I have, like, Wave plugins. Now or you something. can use that in Raisin. Finally. But, man, I'm not trying it's to spend it. Only 15 extra... years too late. But, I mean, like. But, man, like, dude, like, how much is, like, Reason 9 or whatever now? Like, oh, I don't know, dude. I've. I, I would only want to buy it as a, a nostalgic item because that's mm. where I started from. But I don't even know if I could use it anymore as my <laughs> like as my main thing. Damn, man. No. Yeah, I'm just sticking with that one just to track my my Let's audio, see. mix and master in it somewhat and get it sounding all right. But yeah, I got some other tracks on the Bandcamp, man. So mm. you can hear the grooving out the box. The So that's where they should find it. Is it jnotic? Yeah, jnotic.bandcamp.com. That's where you got the grooving out the box, you know, shout out to Black Note for putting that on. I got the uh, Selective Headnotic Grooves. That was like my first official album on the MPC 2000 XL. Mm. It was like 16 tracks. KDEF from Redef mastered that shit, so. That's what's Redef up, Redef Records on there. But old, even old Machine albums are on there. Damn. I might put the, the What Up on there now that we were talking about it. I might That's do right. that when I get back. The reason's like 400, dude. Sheesh. Yeah, I'd rather get my MPC 3000 <laughs> and hold off on that, man. You on Windows, right? No, I'm on the Mac. Dude, get Logic. Yeah, I know. I need to get Logic. It's only like 250. It's, it's the 250? most professional or 299 or 250. It's one of those. Okay. It's the most professional, cheapest thing. And it's probably still like one of the best like i won't say the best because it sparked all this debate but yeah, yeah like, like, like comments oh no but I it's ain't. up there dude like it's, it yeah for people who have a mac and it's like you you need one but you're struggling with one dude just get logic be very angry in the very beginning because you don't know what to do yeah and then course. once you get over it life is great you know <laughs> like, and it's got like a visual analyzer and everything well, spectrum yeah it's the spectrum yeah, series yeah because no. the reason i got right now does not have that so it's like i can't no, I'm get, going get off logic, my ears anyway. Like, graduate so. to Logic. Logic's it's top tier. I might have to do that. And Breaking to me, up a reason. In my opinion, I feel like you can't debate this too much. The the stock plugins it comes up probably has the best stock plugins in the game. Like, really? Here, in my opinion, yes. Okay. Like, that those things are ridiculous. Like I still want the reverb in there. Like oh yeah. But uh, the reverb and Logic's ridiculous. Damn, I like. I it. just use a little crappy one on Reason. <laughs> I mean, it's cool too. I liked it at the time. Hey, yo, and on, on the gram, he gets 10,000 sometimes. Nah, 10,000 plays on some of those MPC beat videos. Some of them, the really old ones. <laughs> I got to look back. And a lot of people like the 3,000 videos more, the MPC 3,000. But the XL doesn't get as much. But, mm. but hey, you know, follow, check it out. Hear the daily ideas before I go to work. <laughs> there you go, man. Yep. Yeah. All right, now you can say cowabunga. Oh, yeah. Peace and love, cowabunga. All right, bake that chicken, smoke that turkey. <laughs> Boosh. Smoke beer. <laughs>